All right. I am. All right. Well, we are back with another episode of Master and the Pupil. And I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Just want to say before before the recording even started. Yeah. Is this the deck? He, he says. Because <laughs> I can't believe it. This was what the deck is. I thought you were talking about the other Salvo deck that like, you know, beats people in one turn with uh was a cyber Eltonin and all that and demise. But no, this is this is no. Like I, I I came to bring the 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 uh, the spice for you the the Salvo on my knob is, okay. is what they would call it. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to win any games tonight, but let's see. <laughs> you, you you said you wanted to uh, this is I guess this is our jankiest episode so far because we haven't done anything quite like this. And we've been trying to hold ourselves back. Yeah, we've been pretty much doing all competitive decks. And so this time we decided to actually try out something that is obviously not meta. It's not like an S tier or even A tier deck. This is just a deck and it is a fun deck for sure. It can obviously win games because it plays triple Kaius. I feel like any deck that plays triple Kaius can just steamroll your opponent. I've actually lost to bullshit decks that just double Kaius me. Like that's just game. So... Uh, any deck with that can just do things. And this deck has like four <laughs> copies of Brain Control in it with Market of Rose. Yep. Uh, what else is there? Autonomous action units in the deck. I guess you said that this deck can make Power Tool Dragon and it searches these equip spells. Which is yeah, cool. so it goes, it, it goes, you know, you want to ideally start your turn with, you know, setting a Dekoichi, getting your draw. Then you go Black Salvo for level seven to Power Tool. And then you you get one of these guys. Hopefully you have a Mystic Tomato already in the graves, so you, you know your Marker of the Rose is actually live. Um, mm -hmm. That's the one thing that I kind of noticed about this deck is that when I was play testing with it to just like see if it was even worth it, you know, spoiler alert, it's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you 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 have to draw a lot of parts of the deck for it to work. Oh, you need yeah. to draw the machine part of it. You need to draw Salvo. You need to have your Mystic Tomato die. <laughs> yeah you need to <laughs> by battle <laughs> by battle <laughs> yeah. not get dd warrior lady or kaius or wing blast or raigeki break or zeroed or brionic or jd brionic or, or icarus attack or black rose or deprisoned or deprison yes but if none of those things happen you're in there <laughs> yeah anyway let's play <laughs> yeah anyway let's play <laughs> yeah we're I'm gonna play now it. all right um, so yeah, we uh we normally have been holding off from the um <clears throat> the silly decks, but you know sometimes you need a little silly in your life. Yeah, sometimes being a little silly isn't such a bad thing. Hopefully now this is a forewarning. This is not happening all the time. Don't no, be expecting I'm, this. But they know that though. The yes. last I don't know, the last like fifteen episodes of Master and People were just not this type of deck. <laughs> so they do know that. Uh, yeah, I feel we'll like we're we'll inviting the... tonight because they know we're on some bullshit. Like they, they smell it. Yep, oh, Opus, we oh. got one. We got one. Now we have to think of what a silly opening is. I think paper is. Yeah, I'm not switching. <laughs> okay. I'm not switching is insane. <laughs> Just telling them out right. I'm not switching. Yep. Dakota? Okay. All right. All right. All right. You know, there's cards in our hand. Do we set the MST as well? No, we don't have to do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Why, why not, would we do that? It's not the craziest thing. I just sometimes said it because of Future Fusion, but. Now, why'd you have to say that right when I ended my fucking turn? Because I want you to think about the worst case scenario. The whirlwind and Future Fusion <laughs> are like, worst case. Oh, we're just getting Celestia turn one. Nah, he won't do that. He's gonna attack into this face down. Yeah, okay. You're getting fucking Oh, he attacked. Yep, and we're getting a flip and a draw. Wasn't that broken? It was not. Um Okay, that's interesting. Uh what can we do with this creature swap? We can attack hmm. our own Armageddon Knight. And then make Dark do. Arm? <laughs> I don't know if I want to go that hard yet, but I think I think either Gale or Armageddon Knight. So Gale can out the wolf right now, which I really like. It's like half it and attack. And then if that's Raiko, he'll just pop the Gale and that's fine. Then next turn Armageddon Knight puts Dark Arm on the field with the Armageddon Knight. So you have like 1400 plus 2800 pressure on the field. And you can start going from there. Sure. What I'm feeling. So yeah. 
And before uh, honest. Yeah, I mean that's fine. we we accept because the the wolf on his field is a liability too. Okay. Yeah, and then we just pass. Uh, we're not gonna set because you yeah. know it's a Raiko. Yeah, and we don't want Celestia to actually get that much value. Like that'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, he just drew that. He's dropping his Lumina. Mm-hmm. Level eater. Level eater. This guy might be on a little bit of spice. There's definitely some spice. Okay, I imagine this uh, Gale's going away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Gores being gone. I do like Gores being gone when we have Dark Arm. Uh, and like, I mean, Dark Arm typically invalidates it a bit, but it's still nice to just not have to think about it because I want Dark Arm to do a lot of damage. Is kind of what I mean. I like it when they don't drop it early because they know that you're just gonna pop their shit anyway. Oh, this is actually. That Wing Blast was a really good draw. Yeah, because then we have Plague for level 6 after we do this play. So, yeah. it's Armageddon Knight is always being summoned. I just don't know what we're sending in this deck. Malicious, right? Is that in... Oh, wait, that's not in the deck, is it? That's not in this deck, which I kind of thought to myself that I feel like it should be in this deck. Well, let's summon Armageddon Knight I... and let's, let's, let's take a peek see. Yeah. All right, so he's going to let it through. He's not playing, like, fairy shit. Uh, let's see. Um... I mean, I so do the way not I... want to draw another Dekoichi, I'll be honest. Okay, sure. We're not drawing another Dekoichi. That's what. That's where you're at? Because, like, look at the rest of it. I want to draw Salvo at this point. Uh, I don't want something random to happen. Like, I don't know if he's on DD Crow. He is playing Dark Monsters. Yep. So, I guess this, this doesn't hurt. I just don't want to be setting monsters. I think we're past that point. Whereas, if you draw Tomato with Creature Swap, that's really good. If you draw, like, a lot of other things. Um, yeah, we're All getting right. Dark Arms coming out. Uh, Pop Raiko for sure. Yep. Uh, Bye, Gale. Question is, do we... We might just be going for, like, the most damage. Yeah, I just kind of want to do the most damage because yeah, yeah, isn't, isn't this literally just, like, almost essentially two turns happening yeah, let's, here? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's just be ignorant. Hopefully he's not playing Battle Fader. Yeah, he just, like, pulls Battle Fader. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, we would still just pop it and then, like, he would have to retaliate. But he's not doing too good of a job with right now. And if he doesn't have Heavy Storm, because we already know MST is gone, if he doesn't have Heavy Storm, this Wing Blast actually getting to Resolve is going to be a big deal. Sure. All right. So now we just in for a lot. Uh, so Gors is gone. We should attack what highest because should, if, Trigodia, if he does have Trag, yeah. then we won't get... 28 through. Yep. That's correct. Okay. All right. Just All right. Plus and pass. Yep. All right. If we get to attack again, just like this, we win. Yes. Wow. All right. Okay. So he's still on three light swords. Which is amazing because I sense that he has JD, which is why he starts Card Trooper, so he can try to burst it out. So this puts him in a position where he has to still summon a Card Trooper, uh, or he gets Lila here. If he gets Lila, he's ruined. Okay, this is good. We have Creature Swap. This is actually kind of ignorant right here. All right, that's fine. Two hand. Mm-hmm. Demok. Or not the mock fucking Phantom of Chaos. So I yes. guess he's going for JD and he's yeah. gonna wipe the field. Yeah, okay, thousand. That's fine. So he's now at twenty five fifty. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. He can't attack with that. That's his normal summon. He's gonna make a level six. Sure. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. If it makes Goyo, we can actually like take our own plague. It's yeah, weird. that's actually cool. It's like a weird little thing. I hope it makes Goyo. Okay. Oh, that's actually annoying. Yep. <laughs> that funnily enough ruins our little our little trick. Yeah. Creature Swap is so fucking awful. <laughs> Look at how easy it was to ruin our Creature Swap. Yep. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Wow. Uh, all right, we don't have any plants, so. Well, we have a Dakoichi. Yeah, no, I was uh, just saying, well, like, power can't... tool can't steal. Um, right. Well, level seven's good here. But we can put his life points really low by just attacking over. Like, um, attacking over his guy puts him really, really low. It does, and then we have Wing Blast to defend. So if we summon, so the biggest guy we have is 20, is it 23? 24 if we want to bring okay, up Black Okay, I'm Rose. trying to do the math so that that way he's under, he'll be on, I just need him to be where JD can't pay. So he's at 25. JD can't pay no matter what attack we do. Okay, so that's good to know. Yep. So we, we might as well get the plus one from summoning that guy, I guess. Yeah, we just do power tool. We search a card. Yep, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Go ahead and sink off for power tool dragon. Uh, now, does he have anything big in here? Because, nope, nothing that can get over Goyo. Because yeah. there was a chance that we could have went for autonomous action because we can we bring that out with on JD or JD has a lim limitation on it, doesn't he? Uh, you can't bring back JD with autonomous action unit now. If that's the question, okay. So you definitely cannot do that. Um, we yeah, just want Mark of the Rose, right? Um, it's kind of interesting. Autonomous action unit does more. I think we, it does do more. I think, I think it's a special do, summon for Caius. Yeah, I think we do get this. I think we get like, we choose this as one of them, I should say. Yeah, because it's going to be random either way. Yes. Oh, shit. I was going to say, did it give it to us? Oh, it, it did. It did. Wow. All wait, right, wait, wait, so wait, we wait. attack. Before we battle, what does he have in his grave again? He has a Phantom of Chaos. Phantom of Chaos. That can Chaos. Dark Arm. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait. We just kill him, don't we? No, wait, because then it has the attacks attack still. Damn it. Uh, let me see his grave. I need to see his grave. So, I do like this Phantom of Chaos copying Darkham. I just don't want it to be on the field after, so it might have to get pop. Because uh, I don't want him to have Goyo. So, like, it would be like Phantom of Chaos... Copy dark arm. Let me see your grave real quick. I just want to see how many darks we have. We have no, I know three how many darks you have. Damn. I wish that Gale was still. Yeah. Gale would have been broken actually. <laughs> so if we go Phantom of Chaos, copy dark arm, we go pop. Go you. We go pop both and attack him for 23. He's super low. And then we're also super low. We're at like 1,900 because we, we pay 1,500 to play that card, right? Yes, we do. So we go to 19. So he has to be able to attack over our guy for 19. He does have card trooper, funnily enough. Uh, I so mean, I, we could just pop our own. I think we Phantom have to. I think we yeah, have we to. would just pop our own oh, Phantom we don't of Chaos have to. afterwards. We don't have to. We could set MST and pop it when he tries to kill it. We have the out. All right. So you just, oh uh, yeah, because Heavy Storm's gone. Play okay. autonomous action unit. Take Phantom. Uh, we can actually put it in defense. Oh, no, it, it has to be wait, an attack. Wait, 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 wait. What? The what? What? Uh, if Gorus just flat out attacks over the other guy, what's that, 21? Okay, never mind, never mind. I was tripping. Go ahead. Sure. Um, oh, so I'm then... also super slow, I think. Mm. So, yeah, copy. Wait. Are we being dumb? We have Creature Swap, too. Can we really uh, not I, kill this guy? I don't think we can, because it's like this monster on the field. Even if we go like, because that's that's the thought I had, right? But the problem is, is that Phantom of Chaos, um, it's yes. going to have 2,800 attack. We won't be able to get over it, because yeah. it takes the attack as well. So it's not possible. It is so, possible. Um, so give, all right, summon Dark Arm. I mean, okay. uh, not summon Dark Arm. Activate, get Dark Arm thing. Okay. Okay. Pa okay, so hold on. Here's where it gets tricky. We are going to give him Phantom of Chaos, and then we're going to MST Autonomous Action and Attack for Game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go pop his Goyu. No, we go pop the other guy. 
Oh yeah, because we want the Goyo. Okay, so yes. we go pop. This is so fucking weird. All right, let me read all Tom's action while we're at it too. Okay. When this side card... of the field and equip. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Okay. okay. All right. So creature swap. <laughs> Take go. <Goyo. laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fucking pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you oh, no, Goyo to... first? Attack, attack with Goyo. Yeah, yeah whatever, whatever. He's he a half shit. Yeah, yeah he is, okay. He's a half shit. All right, die. GG. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a dueling puzzle. <laughs> yes. Yes. I figured it out. All right, all right. I feel like we were talking a little too much shit. That was fun. We were talking a little too much shit pre-show. That was hilarious. Uh, we actually killed him that turn. I feel like this deck... Alright, so there's two cards this deck should be playing. It should be playing Phantom of Chaos, I feel like, now, randomly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's do our side deck, and then we can discuss a little bit more. So, Light Imprisoning Mirrors. Yeah. Uh, Cyber Dragons. Diddy Crows. He's playing Monster Reincarnation. I don't know what he's on. Uh, Vanity's Fiend, for sure. He plays Ryko, Mind Control. All right, and then let's take out Wing Blast. The card's terrible. Book of Moons, all of them. It's terrible. Cold Wave, he's playing the stronger deck. Uh... Oh, we already have a Diddy Crow in our main deck. I'm not siding three of it, so take out... Yeah, uh, two. And how many more cards? So four, five, six, and we're siding in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to take out one more card from our main deck. Uh... Hmm. Heavy? Heavy does seem correct. He didn't set a single back row, and then he was milling. I didn't really see much back row either. So let's go. Yeah, him. yeah. He's playing light. He's playing light swords. They don't really. Set yeah, like some, that. some some of them do, but they play very very scarce, a very scarce amount that doesn't warrant you keeping heavy storm in your deck. That might hurt you more than it would hurt them, if anything. Like, yep, absolutely. All right. Okay. Do I attack his face now with plague? We definitely do not. Okay. Uh, I mean, are you really? You think? You well, because you think it's like guarantee Ryko, basically. Well, here's here's maybe this is how I'll examine it. Is uh, I can't set tomato if I think it's Ryko. Right. Uh, I don't think passing is right. I agree. So let's all right. Let's let's do your play. Let's try it. We do have a game to throw away because we're up a game. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it's like I guess I could set uh, yeah, we're plague instead. I'm just always so afraid of hamster. Like these decks tend to play both. Oh, it was the same thing. Okay. I didn't see that on my bingo card. But I'm the real one. You're the real one. I wonder if you'll put a yep. card on top to Caius yours away. Okay, it's a nice draw. Yep, it is. Oh. All right, this guy mills heavy like uh, like nobody's business. He does. I don't really play back row like that, so. All yeah, right. He's using it. I think he's going to take it and then make an eight star. Oh, we would is, love that. That's what it looks like. Oh, a number wolf. Oh, this fucking thing. He can stop with that card whenever he's ready. <laughs> Not when he's ready. <laughs> I am so ready for him to stop with that specific card. Uh, he hasn't normal summoned either. No. We're getting, this is getting bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised this is part of the equation here. Declare the effect of Plex for Zombie. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. All right, this is not what I saw in the bingo card of this match right now. Same. I don't know why the Sangan is being synchroed away. I don't know why the Sangan was ever summoned. And he's going to bring out a level eater to fucking tickle me for six. Okay. Hmm. I mean, he's just pressuring the fuck out of us. Like, this is over half our life in one turn, which is really annoying. Yes. He's putting us on a really ignorant two-turn clock. Oh, my God. It's like, you can't We do. We do have the recruiter-creature swap combo, which is nice. 
Yeah, kinda. You know? It's nice. It's just that life points matter so much in this matchup. Yeah. And we're we're losing a lot. We're losing a lot right now. Okay. Are you scared of wars? Yeah, he's like waiting really long. Okay. Just the way he attacked too. He's not scared enough. No. Okay. He has honest, so we really can only attack the level eater. Right. And I don't even know if we can actually put that in an attack mode. Because if he attacks with Android and goes honest, we take 24. We drop down to 900. Whatever we summon in attack mode with Tomato would actually get us, like, we would, we would lose the game. Uh, so we're not in a pleasant spot here. And... I... Um... Let's see. So <clears throat> I can black rose him. I forgot. Oh yeah. Yep. I can black rose him because I can go tomato creature swap, android kill tomato, search something, maybe like Sangan? Mm, Sangan or um guy that mills when he summoned and put a machine for Salvo in the grave and then Make Black Rose with Plague. Huh. Let me see That's... his grave real quick. I want to see how many life forms he's on. And he searched. Did he search Lumina? He searched Honest. Oh, he did. That's right. He, he has searched... Lumina in his hand from, from charge. Uh, charge. So we might need to get a DD Crow. Okay, so then we would do Sangan off of the Tomato. Yeah, I'm thinking if I even want to do this this Tomato Crash play though at all. I think well, it's not it's not tomato crash. It's tomato. Uh, well, he has fucking level eater on the field, so he would just give us that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am not a fan of anything but set tomato. I think I think that that is actually the best play you have. As crazy as that is, but like, yeah, is there three tomatoes in his deck? There is. All I right. think. Well, yes. only two actually. Since we have one in our hand yeah, as well, was, I mean, like in, in the total, like in the deck total, so that way we can take some of the suck up some of this aggression. Is that Aaron? Oh God, we're dead. All right, next game. Wow, he's <laughs> raw. I feel I almost want to say he drew that. Yeah, that was that was the game. Oh Not this GG. I see. I fucked up. I've I've reciprocated. Because yes, you have to say it back again now because you started it. No, I won't. No, please say it back, because I, I don't want to be rude. <sighs> you you responded the first time. Don't do it when you lost and you're salty. Like, you have to continue that, because you started it. All right, anyway. Uh, I'm more salty that I, that, I, that I reciprocated. Yeah, you reciprocated, so you have to continue to be that way now. You can't be Damn like, it. oh, I lost, I'm salty. Like that's Because we, we're not those people. All right, so let's... I don't want to change anything. I think that this is, I mean, this is not... You know, any like this. This is the deck. Like this is what we were stuck with. Yeah. So, before we even get into it, we're not changing anything. Yeah. Let's just keep it. As okay. as, let's just go in and hopefully going first. We just draw dark arm and trap dust sheet or something. I don't know. Man, this scale has really been showing out. Okay. All what right. Is, what is Armageddon? Knight? What can it send in this matchup? In this matchup, it just um, sends plague. Right. I think we just set like prisoning mirror and pass. That's that's what I'm feeling. Sure. Sure. Take. Okay. Uh, do we want to drop track here? Um. Uh, I think I think we do. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's, it's the guy. biggest. It's the biggest it's ever going to be. Yep. And then he's activating that effect, so we'll chain yeah. declare that. Yeah. Okay, this is really good. Off return. All right. <sighs> the second one. Okay. Um. So we could steal her. I like stealing. Like the Armageddon Knight doesn't actually do anything except send plague, which is 
yeah, something, not, I guess. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not the craziest thing, though. Uh, yeah, I kind of like stealing it too. I think that that's what we do. So you got to declare Trigodia. Uh, this also sets up for our Gale, um, being able to make a level seven. Oh, I like that easily. a lot, actually. I think, like, right now, we to... could literally just do that. Is, summon, uh, is, power, summon... is Power Tool light? Oh, he's not. Oh, I think that's what we do. Right? Wait, are you are you saying like search power tool? I mean, it's yeah. power tool effect search. I I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking that we could summon Gale, attack with everybody, and then if he drops Gores, we have, and then we make Armor Master. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. You're you're cute. I yeah, like that. Yeah. So summon. Wait, don't go into battle phase. Yeah. So summon so summon because we have not normal summoned. Right. So battle phase lowest to highest. So it would be Gale first, and then Lila. No, no, no. He's eight. Tragodia is oh yeah yeah yep you're right Lila. yeah he's he's eighteen right yep. yeah correct and get me in for eighteen okay drop gores now yep gore has make phase two gale. Gale half gores. Yep. Okay. And then so the weakest monster is going to be Lila. It's still gonna be Lila, yeah. Um Yeah, I guess that makes sense that we would just synchro with the Lila. Because we're not sending yep. a second light mirror to make gore make our guy even weaker. So yeah, we would just synchro for armor master, I think, here. Yep, and then Armor Master Light Mirror. Yeah. Good luck. And then we have Brand Control Cyber Dragon as follow up, so like, let's just pass this this way. Like right now, yep. he can't beat anything on our field at all. Because the problem with searching with Power Tool is that we don't have a Plant and Grave still. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right on that. Yeah, if we had a Plant and Grave, I would be like for sure. Even if we even had a Tomato in our graveyard, I would be like for it's sure. Go crash in the track, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Gors is dead. Okay. And I end up drawing the shitty card anyway, so it's like we did it anyway. All right, so let's just kill the Gors. Yeah, and then we can just pass. Yep. The Sarmor Master is going to be doing the most. Yep. He's playing Light Swords once again. So realistically, he doesn't have a trap that's going to kill this. Right. What is that? Oh, is that Morphing Jar? Like, what was that? <laughs> Not you on Morphing Jar again. <laughs> um, do we set cards if we really do think it's Morphing Jar? Because he's not going to heavy himself. No, he's not. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of down for it. Like, let's. Set so you want to set like a lore and brain control? <sighs> Those are the only ones I Am really I being care about. Dumb. Like, I, I really want to play around Morphing Jar right now and set, like, a lower Light Mirror and Brain Control. <clears throat> Am I just going to be salty as hell, though? What it, what it, like, serious, seriously, though, it's like, what, I don't, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's that wrong. Okay, well, let's go, let's, let's go for it. Let's if he heavies it. himself for four, then, like, yeah. you know? All, All right, right so, yeah, we're going to set this. Set, and then just Battle Phase. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> we're crazy people. We're cr like, we're actually crazy human beings. <laughs> we're, it's going to happen one day and you and I are going to pop off so hard. Yeah. Like we're crazy. We're crazy. Everyone humans. doubted us. Okay. Yep. Thumbs up. Yep. That doesn't actually do anything. Yeah. You can't kill me. You can't get this. La 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 la. Put a token on it. Yep. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is a good tomato. Summon it. <laughs> uh, I think we brain control too. Yeah. Wait, let's see if the summon's good. Okay, yeah, let's brain control that. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, is this game if we attack 27 plus 1250? Yeah, that's game if everybody gets through. Okay. So, so I'm thinking if we want to... Wait, go back to main phase one. I'm thinking if we want to synchro, because it's, it's probably game that way as well. 
if we synchro, we get power tool to search a guy and then we will have a plant in a grave officially. Right. Uh, that is true. So we get a plant we, in the books. Yeah, I kind of want to get uh, a guy in a grave. So yeah, let's, let's synchro now. Okay. I don't want, like, I don't know if he's playing Deep Prison or some bullshit or like Mirror Force or whatever, but let's just um, summon and then. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? Well, we don't care because we have to choose those three anyway. We only have. Yeah, no, three, yeah. So it doesn't matter. So we'll do Mark of the Rose. Mark yep. of the Rose and Autonomous. Yeah. The only Since three. we already have our... Yep. Okay. Uh, and then what's face down again? I just want to check. What's our back row? Okay, let's just attack then. All right. Uh, sure, we'll get this in. Yeah, for game. Deep prison. Okay, we actually just won. Okay. GG. GG. Right. That was two jank decks, because I don't know what he was actually on. Let's watch the replay. Yeah, that was that was something. Yeah, I don't really know. Let's fast forward. I don't really know what his deck is. I'm interested to see what... I'm glad that we got to go up against the jank deck and not just fucking Black Wings or something. Oh, yeah. Show the hands here. Oh, he's one of the people that holds Charge the Light Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> not those. <laughs> You said that almost like it was like a like a second class citizen. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a little worse than that. Oh, he's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like Yo, what this, is that? This lethal is probably one of the most like dual puzzly fucking random. dual puzzly lethals I've done in Edison format like ever. I'm so glad I saw it. I'm glad that. Because I'm tired, right? It is currently 9 o'clock, so, and I just recorded the podcast right before this, and I edited the podcast on top of that. So I am tired. Also see, the, the thing gym. is, it, it came up to me. I was just like, all right, I think maybe you can k kill with Phantom of Chaos, Dark Arm, Creature Spot. But I was like, well, no, because then the Dark Arm's too big now. Yeah. And you found you found the puzzle. It was well. We needed to get fucking lucky here. Is what what it was. This was the key right here. Yeah. We got fucking lucky with this guy. This is the most random kill ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most random kill. Ever. I love this kill. kill. Look I at love that this kill, kill so much. I love this kill. Uh, that was my favorite kill of all time. <laughs> this sounds crazy out of context, by the way. <laughs> But yes. What'd you say? I say this sounds crazy out of context, but yes. We're just giggling in our room saying, I love killing. Yes, your mom's just listening. Oh, mm -hmm. honey. We got ruined. He had Why did the we same game get sam summoned? We were never winning this game, by the way. <laughs> Check his graveyard for me real quick. Okay, yeah, we were never winning. Because <laughs> if we attacked, he drops track. That's his third dark. Like, we were never winning that game. That was bad. <clears throat> we drew Gale every game. That was so weird. Oh, man. Gale's so good at dealing with Gores. It's, like, disgusting. It's actually foul. And also this lock, the fucking Armor Master Light Imprisoning Mirror lock is just like, what do? What are you going to do about this it? This was broken, honestly. So when he said all that, it was just like to bluff me, I guess. Well, to bluff us. Now, you took that shit personal just now. It was the bluff you. The way you just said that, uh, yeah, he did, did that to bluff me. Yeah, I, I did take it personal. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. I didn't like it. Because <laughs> you made me think you were playing oh. Morphing Jar, which is possible for his deck to be playing that. <laughs> All right, well, I love uh, the, I'm definitely not doing another duel with that, so that's gonna be the end of this one. But um, okay, we, we will. We will. I am not. I'm not risking losing <laughs> with this deck. I'll tell you that right now. So I am good where we. We're gonna take it at the high that it, that it gave us. Yeah, I am at a high right now because that's also this deck is stressful and it's not good. I realize so many things about it. It requires too much setup. Like, it would be nice <laughs> if there was a section of DB where you're guaranteed to play against other decks that are not S or A tier. But, like, I just know we try to press our luck again. We're going to run into the Blackwing guy, 
or the fucking frog. This deck couldn't beat frogs a game. Like if you had to play against <laughs> frogs, you can't beat ninety frogs. games. Ninety games. You, you won't would, get one. I, I think you will lose ninety games straight to a frog player. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> your deck, your deck. Like I, I can't even imagine how bad that matchup has to be. On top of all, the, like, our turn one, we set the Quichi. Like if that was summon Shura attack, we're just fucked. Like we start losing from turn one. Like here's your plus two. <laughs> <laughs> Things get so out of hand. Yeah, it, I I can't deal. Um, <laughs> but this was fun for like a little quickie or whatever. You know, it's not. It's not no, we had our world. we had our fill. We and had we, our fill. we got a really good kill out of it. You know, we got a highlight. That was a highlight. That was super highlighty. Like that was awesome. He he was almost about to. Lose. He had no idea that he was dead just then. No, he was like, "There's no way." And honestly, what's funny about it is that he would have just been dead if he didn't play Level Eater, but Level Eater randomly just fucked on Creature Swap, and then I was like, I got the solution to it. This deadass NXT <laughs> didn't hold this in turn one. Oh, God, that was a rant. But all right, guys. Well, we will catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this rant of an episode of Master and the Pupil. Peace out.